In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean some very dirty, caked on, muddy door jams with some basic tools and product. It's not crazy, it's not complex, pretty straightforward. All the links will be down in the description box if you're interested in the exact tools that I used. Okay, so here it is. As you can tell, it's pretty caked on, it's muddy. It's a work truck that goes out to the job site all the time. So, you know, you would immediately think, oh, I need to get a pressure washer. I need to foam down that door, that door jam. Actually, no, all I have is a garden hose. Garden hose, pretty straightforward. I put it on the center setting and I literally just rinse it down and that knocks off about 60% of all the mud. So once I did that, it's basically a simple cleaning. I have super clean diluted 10 to 1 in my pump sprayer. You can use a spray bottle, that's irrelevant. I just, a pump sprayer is much more efficient. And then I'm using the work stuff brushes to agitate the door jams. Now because I'm in the shade, I'm able to spray it, work it in, and rinse it off. If you're working in, the, in more of a direct sunlight or the door jams are hot, uh, then you might want to work in smaller sections and continuously rinse down the door jams more frequently But here because I was away from the Sun the door jams were cool. I was able to rinse it down spray APC agitate rinse and not have the water dry up on me Now, if you've seen a recent video where I talk about the work stuff, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't really, I'm not gonna really use it for the interior, like door panels and center console, maybe a few areas here and there, but they work great for the door jams. Like I was very happy with how they worked on here. So on, I, that's why I'm gonna keep them in my interior tool bag. So when I have to clean door jams, I'll have them readily available. Um, so like I wouldn't wanna use the detail factory uh, brushes on those because those are just too nice for the door jams. When it's something like this, like caked on, dirty, muddy stuff, it's too, uh, too dirty for that. So that's where the work stuff brushes come in perfectly. And if you saw the other video where I, I reviewed it, I say they have their place, just very selective of where that place is, but on door jams like these, perfect scenario. Now, as you're working around the door jam, inevitably some water will fall into the, like on the door panel or onto the carpeting, into the interior. Just have a towel on hand, get ready to wipe it down. If you just spray a little bit over the door jam and like some of it gets onto the carpeting, just dry it off real quick and just within 30 minutes it'll dry. So don't think you've like ruined the interior or like, you know, a splash, a, a, a few dots of water got on the leather seats. Just wipe it down. If you got a little bit too much, just wipe, just try to dry it off as best as you can with a towel and let it air dry. It's no biggie. You're not going to destroy anything. Now, if you just remove common sense and logic out of your brain and you just douse the door panel with the water hose, yeah, you're going to run into some problems, but anything short of that, you should be okay.
Now here, I'm just going to use the brushes to clean the entire door jam. I, I, before this, I had already cleaned the A pillar, B pillar, and that uh, plastic door step seal thing. So that didn't need attention. If you wanted to, you could kind of combine some of those steps, like maybe a part of that plastic piece there, but I had already cleaned it, so I wasn't worried about that part. You could use a steamer if you wanted to, if you have it, if you want to incorporate somewhere before you clean the door jam. I didn't, I, I mean, I, I did actually, I cleaned the plastic pieces some of it was a steamer and then that's why I was only literally focusing on the plastic pieces. It just depends, there's no right or wrong answer. Just know that the process that you're doing can be tweaked to your liking. So whether you clean the door jam and some plastic, just a door jam, the plastic first, just some door jam, that's kind of irrelevant in my opinion. It's a pretty straightforward, simple process. You just rinse it down, spray your APC, agitate, rinse it down, wipe it down with a towel and you are done. Even something as caked on as this that's been weeks like this, completely dry, a simple garden hose knocked off 60% of that dirt before me even touching it with a brush. So do you need a pressure washer because it's caked on? Apparently you don't. So hopefully that helps you out to some degree. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about the video and I'll see you on the next one.